The scene shifts and we see Zvi slowly open his eyes. The vampire did not understand what was happening. He did not know why his thigh was hurting badly. The boy felt as if a needle was piercing his thigh. When Zvi fully opened his eyes, he noticed that his legs were gone and Ronan's sword was in his thigh. Ronan moved close to Zvi's face, with a terrifying smile on his face. Our boy told the vampire that he is relieved that he is alive. He assumed that Zvi had already died. Zvi could not comprehend what was happening. The vampire took a look around. He could not believe that a single human managed to take out all his comrades in such a brief period of time. While the vampire was trembling, Ronan apologized to him for his friend's condition. Our boy told Zvi that he could not amputate the vampires because they kept regenerating. He told the vampire that he had to finish them off. With a smile on his face, Ronan asked Zvi to take out the fresh blood essence. He told the vampire that he will end up like his friends if he does anything stupid. Zvi was horrified to hear this. The vampire screamed and called out to someone. He asked the person to tell him why he let Ronan act as he wished. He told the person that the situation would not be so bad if he had intervened. The vampire told the person that he could have saved all the members if he wanted. He asked the person to tell him why he let such things happen. Ronan was surprised to see this. He did not understand what was happening. He wondered if Zvi had lost his mind. He asked the vampire to tell him who he is talking to. The moment our boy asked this question, a man appeared behind him. Ronan was shocked to feel the presence of someone behind him. He immediately turned around when he sensed the man's presence. With a terrifying tone in his voice, the vampire called Ronan a human and asked him to move away from Zvi, without any hesitation. Our boy immediately moved away from Zvi. With a look of shock on his face, Ronan took a careful look at the man. Our boy placed his hand on his neck. He realized that he would have died if the man had shown any killing intent. The man told Zvi that he is quite disappointing. He reminded the boy that he promised him that he would bring Jaredin into the group. The vampire could not believe that Zvi would show him such a pathetic state after doing his best to recruit him. With a cold gaze in his eyes, the man called Zvi the child of the Arnshaffle family and told him that he is quite brazen. The man called the boy a pathetic person who cannot see reason. Zvi began to tremble when he heard this. The man raised his hand and a small amount of blood began to gather around it. The vampire told Zvi that he will be taking back the fresh blood essence because he has failed to carry out the plan. Ronan was surprised to see what was happening. He did not know why Zvi's comrade was acting so weird. As the blood around the man's hand began to enlarge, Zvi began to beg for his life. He asked the man to give him one last chance. Unfortunately for Zvi, the man had drained him of his blood completely before he could talk more. Zvi's body shriveled up and his face changed to that of an elderly person. After killing Zvi, the man gathered the vampire's blood and condensed it. He turned the blood into the fresh blood essence. Immediately he did this, Ronan called out to him. He told the man that he cannot simply interrupt him and take what he wants. The man was surprised to see that our boy spoke to him. With a serious look on his face, Ronan told the man that he needs to cooperate with him if he is the true owner of the fresh blood essence. He warned the man to cooperate with him if he wants to return home in one piece. The mysterious man told our boy that his arrogance is boundless. He was surprised to see that Ronan was threatening him. With a terrifying look on his face, the man asked our boy to tell him what he will do if he refuses. Ronan told the man that he simply needs to beat him up. The moment he said this, our boy rushed to attack the man. He easily closed the gap between himself and the man. He managed to land his attack on the man. To Ronan's surprise, the man blocked the attack with his hand. The man realized that Ronan was more dangerous than expected. He could not believe that our boy managed to damage him even though his body had already been covered with the mana of blood. With a smile on his face, the man told Ronan that he is worthy enough to impersonate Jaredin. The vampire became curious about Ronan. He wondered if our boy had any more skills to show him. He gathered blood in his hands and told our boy to show him his best. Ronan was shocked to see the man gathering blood. He quickly took a defensive stance. The moment he did this, the man used a skill known as Blood Cutter on him. The skill pushed Ronan back. While moving back, our boy took a stance and used his sword to cut through the technique. The moment Ronan cut through the technique, the man gathered blood in his fingertip and activated a technique known as Bloodshot. Ronan was surprised to hear the name of the technique. He quickly remembered that this was the same skill that one of the vampires used on him earlier. However, there was a difference between the vampire's skill and the man's skill. 
The man's bloodshot was much faster and larger. Ronan was shocked to see the scale of the man's attack. He could not believe that this was the same skill from earlier. Our boy took a stance and cut through the attack. The man smiled when he saw this. He had never seen anyone do what Ronan did. He realized that our boy was not simply blocking the attack. Instead, he was cutting through mana itself. The man revealed to Ronan that he did not have any high expectations for him. However, now our boy has caught his interest. Ronan grit his teeth and told the man that he must be the leader of the mosquitoes for him to be buzzing around noisily. He asked the man to shut up and give him the essence. The moment he said this, our boy ran to attack the man. The mysterious man smiled when he saw Ronan coming towards him. He told our boy that he likes his spirit. The man decided to show Ronan respect for being a worthy opponent. He raised his hand in the air and gathered a large amount of blood in his hand. As Ronan and the man got close to each other, we see someone enter the temple from above. The person asked the two opponents to stop fighting. Ronan and the man were shocked to hear the person's voice. When the person landed on the ground, she destroyed the area. The man and Ronan moved back in order to avoid any attacks. The man was shocked to hear the girl's voice. He was certain that he recognized the voice. Ronan was also shocked to see the person in front of him. He did not understand why she was in the temple. The man could not believe that Ophelia de Knight was standing in front of him. Guys, we have come to the end of our video. If you guys want more recaps like this, check out my channel. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button for more recaps. See you guys later.